Hey there, folks. I'm about to embark in a different place of uh, fishing. I'm told by my friend. I wasn't able to get anybody to fish with me, so I'm kind of on my own here. Um, when I first came in, there were a lot of brims sitting here at the uh, at this ramp. So I, I assume there's a till sign of uh, that there's got to be bass in here. Um, wherever there's brim, there's always th that probability that there's predators also included. But um, I'm going to mark the, the boat ramp head out, this canal here. So this is where the bottom of this ramp is. Uh, you can see it, probably cannot see the uh, brim because it's not polarized. But um, I am gonna try to get hit this area here first before I can uh, advance. It's overcast. It's probably about mid 70s here. It's November, uh, first week of November. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn my electronic and get my uh, GPS marked. And this here, once it load up, I said, like I said, is I got a bit of uh, areas here that I'm going to hit before I do anything. But be before I take off, I, I definitely have to mark my uh, man overboard here. So best bet is to zoom in. Get my boat marking here. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of playing here. Let me get back to you guys. I'll get this thing set up and I'll show you what I'm doing actually. All right. And actually, this thing has to acquire the satellite. So, but you can see this here. I marked my man overboard and um, you can see if you follow this up there's a lake there and this continues I mean this thing just keeps going on I have choices to making the left to the right there's a couple of uh, bridges I might be able to go under uh, that's interesting enough uh, we're going to see what it's like and um, I'll try to videotape as much as I can. Okay folks, got my first bass. I lost one on uh, uh, before. <clears throat> I was just trying to feel it out. Um, I, didn't, I didn't put myself to record. Uh, basically I'm trying to feel out this place. I have no idea what to use or you know, what these fish are hitting on. Uh, within two casts now, I just gotten two hits, lost one, and hooked this one. Um, I'm gonna try trying with this Rapala lure, but I'm gonna switch over to my um, homemade worms and see how that works. turtle in the water there I can see it little turtle this little cove here I don't know what it holds we're gonna try it I noticed that the last two bass I caught them away from the edge they're probably foraging on the uh, brims just kind of running around this place um, but I am gonna try definitely a rubber worm and see how that bears out and like I said you know this is called fishing it's not called catching if it was called catching it would be a whole different story so it's an overcast a little cool uh, one of my draws here is that the winds pretty strong every once in a while I get a strong gust and they had predicted that for boaters I'm not too far away from the uh, flats 
I'm in salt water. I'm about 20 minutes from going out and doing some redfish and other stuff, but I chose not to do it. Um, I didn't want to deal with rough water, so basically in here doing this freshwater business. Like I said, all this is new to me. Um, no hits here, so I'll just keep going around this whole cove, work the, the corners. I'm gonna stop this for now, and looks like all small ones. Got another one, this time using my homemade worms. So, um, every time I shut this thing off, it's I end up getting a, a hit or catching a, a bass. All right, we'll get back to you. Okay, folks, I just landed a good seven pound bass give and take. Look how fat this puppy is, man. Caught him right off of that corner over there, and there were two of them. Um, it's been windy, it's been really hard to uh, fish out here, but it's pretty good so far. Bass. Nice bass.
I'm gonna fly across the land Breathe in the fresh air Travel a million miles away I feel so close to you right now Step outside your home and come with me Travel across the galaxy